The Mainland Affairs Council has ignited controversy by declaring it will investigate and potentially prosecute a Taiwanese man working for Chinese state media. Zhang Jingyi came to public attention in recent days when he attended an epidemic briefing at the White House as a reporter for Shanghai Dragon TV and told President Donald Trump that he was from Taiwan. Born in Yunlin County, Zhang is in fact a Taiwanese national. The Mainland Affairs Council says it's illegal for Taiwanese nationals to work for Chinese state-owned media. But critics say they're being too harsh. Where are you from? I'm from Taiwan. Good. He identifies himself as from Taiwan, but he's working for China Shanghai Dragon TV. The Mainland Affairs Council says it will launch an investigation on whether he has violated the Taiwan Mainland Relations Act. We will make a decision based on factors such as his basic loyalty to a national identity, whether he's been involved in United Front strategies, and whether he's done anything to harm our national interests or national security. The 33rd article of the Act Governing relations between the people of the Taiwan area and mainland area stipulates Taiwanese people shall not hold any position or become any member of the agencies, institutions or organizations of the mainland area, which are political parties, the military, the administration or of any political nature and which are prohibited. A fine of 100,000 to 500,000 NT may be applied. An appendix clarifies that this includes all Chinese public institutions on a certain level, such as the People's Daily. Some KMT lawmakers think the Mainland Affairs Council is scapegoating Zhang. He's not actually a member of a Chinese political party or in political office. I think the Mainland Affairs Council should take a breath before they do something foolish here. They should let talented Taiwanese people have the chance to develop professionally in any job they're suited to. This law was drawn up in the KMT era. We're a country with the rule of law. We have the duty and authority to investigate any behavior that violates the law. But who should conduct the investigation? According to reports, the National Communications Commission and the Ministry of Culture have both tried to avoid taking an active role in the case. We will continue to work with the relevant ministries to handle this together. This man's job has a political component, and that is banned according to Section 2 of Article 33 of the relevant law. Once we have investigated the matter properly, we will take appropriate action. The Mainland Affairs Council reiterated that Shanghai Dragon TV is not a private enterprise. It is wholly owned by the Chinese state. Taiwanese people working at private enterprises in China are not breaking the law.